in the last two videos i told about conic section and eccentricity okay so aaj ka video hai ki how we can draw an ellipse okay how we can draw an ellipse when the distance of the focus from the directrix is equal to 50 mm okay and eccentricity is given eccentricity is 2 by 3 okay so this is the directrix this is the line and this is the focus f okay so this distance is given 50 okay so first of all we have to find out the eccentricity 2 by 3 so we are going to divide this into five equal parts and after that we are going to draw the uh, point of eccentricity and after that we will draw the ellipse so first of all we are going to draw a vertical line ab okay this is a vertical line ab now we are going to draw a line which is perpendicular to ab okay and also we are going to mark the focus okay so this is the focus 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 okay so this is my line ab this is my line ab and this is the focus f this is the focus f okay now where is my eccentricity so eccentricity will be t, uh, 2 by 3 so my point b will be here okay so i can write this is my point b okay now what i have to do i have to draw a perpendicular line equal to 2 cm okay okay so this is my point e okay this is my point e so this is my point c now we are going to draw a line okay so we are going to draw a line so this is my point c this is my point e and we are going to draw a line okay now we are going to mark some point over here so suppose this is my point 1 okay similarly here in this axis you can mark several points suppose this is my point 2 this is my point 3 okay so this point you can measure to any arbitrary dimensions okay koi bhi dimension aap le sakte hain no problem this is point 4 this is point 5 this is point 6 okay now what you have to do you have to draw you have to draw the lines through these points okay better you use the drafter okay so you have to draw the lines through this point
okay so you kindly use draft r so that your diagram will be accurate okay so these are my points okay now you mark this point also so this is one dash this will be two dash this will be three dash this will be four dash this will be five dash this will be six dash okay now taking this one and one dash as a radius okay one one dash as a radius and center at f okay center at f you have to mark on this line okay here and here okay similarly taking two two dash two two dash as a radi uh, radius okay and center at f you have to mark at point uh, sorry in this line okay two two dash line okay top and bottom taking three three dash three three dash as a radius okay and center at f you have to mark this point uh, sorry this line okay three three dash line okay taking four four dash okay four four dash as a center uh, radius and center at f you have to mark this this okay taking phi phi dash as a radius center at f you have to mark on this line okay taking Six, six dash as a radius center at F. You have to mark on this line. Okay, so I have to draw many more lines. Okay, suppose this is point seven. This is point eight. Okay, so this is seven dash, this is eight dash. Okay, so taking seven, seven dash, seven, seven dash as a radius, and F is a center. You have to mark on this, to mark on this, taking eight, eight dash as a center sorry radius and f as a center you have to mark on this this okay so it needs some more line okay so similar way uh, suppose this is my point Nine. So you have to draw line. So this is my nine dash. Okay. Now taking nine and nine dash. Nine nine dash and nine nine dash as a radius and f as a center. Okay. You have to mark on here. Okay. So is going to meet okay here now you can easily draw ellipse okay so this thing 
this thing is nothing but okay so it is coming in this way okay this point e is coming in this way okay now we got all the intersection points okay now we got all the intersection points so we are going to mark all intersection point so this is my p1 okay this intersection point is p1 this intersection point is p2 this intersection point is p3 p4 p5 p6 p7 p8 and this is p9 okay now we can easily draw the ellipse okay so this can be draw using freehand okay so ellipse can be draw using freehand okay So kindly draw smoothly, okay. So you will get a smooth curve for the ellipse. Okay. So now this is your ellipse okay so here you kind kindly wrap this okay and try to try to draw a good ellipse okay so in this way we, we can draw the ellipse so this method is called general method of construction of an ellipse now how to draw tangent and normal on this ellipse okay so suppose this is the point okay suppose this is the point where i want to draw the tangent and normal okay so this point is suppose p okay now what you have to do first of all you have to join this point p with f okay pehle p ko f se join kar lena hai okay first of all we are going to join this point p with f okay now we are going to draw perpendicular okay we are going to draw perpendicular from this point okay which is going to cut into the directrix okay so this is the directrix okay so suppose this is point t okay now from this point t we can easily draw the tangent okay now from point we can easily draw the tangent okay okay so this is my tangent and perpendicular to the tangent is the normal okay so this is the normal okay so this is the normal okay so t t is the tangent and suppose n and m is the normal okay so i think you have understand the process so t t dash uh, t t is the tangent and n m n is the normal which is perpendicular to the tangent okay so mujhe lagta hai ki abhi aap log draw kar sakenge ye thank you